Well, you have joined me as I'm in the process of taking the first plank off uh, a big lump of pine that I was given. Uh, this measures about four meters long and uh, I'm just uh, working my chainsaw mill and I thought that I'd make a quick video to show you uh, the chainsaw mill. I know there's a lot of people who ask questions about these and wonder whether they're worth the money or not. I think if you're sort of cutting up rough planks for sort of building work or shuttering for concrete and stuff, uh, they're either a good enough job, they're a bit slow, but uh, I really like mine. Now, I'm running my Canadian sawmill or chainsaw sawmill on a still uh, MS440 from 2007, I think. So it's a good saw. Uh, it's got about 71cc, which I would consider as the minimum for running one of these mills. Um, the saw, she's a bit old. She needs, she needs rings and she probably needs a piston as well. But it's running for the moment. As long as she doesn't get too hot, she runs just fine. Uh, and coupled to the saw, obviously it's a bit long for this uh, trunk, but I use it okay. Coupled to this saw is a, a 36 inch bar with a, a ripping chain. So a ripping chain is um, sharpened to 10 degrees. And that allows you then to cut up the length of a board, up the length, length of a trunk rather than a crossway, a cross cutting. And then what I have got in place here is just a ladder uh, as you can see which just sits on top of the plank it's screwed in at both ends and then a couple of times up the length as well where there's big dips and that just allows the first cut to be nice and square and straight and then afterwards uh, we can either use the ladder or we can just go um, straight on top of the board if it's nice and flat so that's the presentation of the mill this one's from vervor so it's not an official one but i know there's a lot of people probably wouldn't be using one of these often enough to justify uh, the price of a, a real one, uh, the Canadian made one. Um, and to be totally honest, the Vervor one, it's pretty good. I mean, it's a little bit flimsy to be honest. Uh, some of these here, these here in particular, these uh, dogs for catching onto the, uh, or these clamps for catching onto the bar are a wee bit weak. Um, this here is all cast uh, metal, so it's not too bad. And then you can see on here very faintly that there is actually a depth gauge so you can measure with this although uh, the better trick would be to just use an evenly cut piece of board between here and here uh, whenever you're setting the height on her um, but no it's a good it's a good piece of kit you can hold on then obviously whenever you're working with her hold on here uh, to keep the throttle going and then the other hand goes on here and the real trick to this is to try and get a nice even direction, not going back and forward too much, but just a nice even cut the whole length. Uh, and that generally gives you boards that are pretty usable after a wee bit of planing. So there you go for the presentation of her. I'm going to put it on the tripod now. And you can see the real time speed of cutting. And then I'll do a time lapse for the next couple of planks.
just cut the crust off and I wanted to show you a little bit what the surface of the wood looks like whenever you're using this kind of chainsaw mill. So you can see there's all these little ribs on it which aren't too bad actually, that can all be uh, planed out eventually but it's a really handy way of milling whenever you don't have a big bandsaw uh, or in my case whenever you're on somebody else's property and I mean I could take this wood away with the tractor and loader in the trailer and take it to a mill just down the road but look for old wood like this I just prefer uh, doing it doing it myself um, so there you go next I'm going to do a time lapse of the next couple of planks and you'll see kind of what that looks like <laughs> You've seen in the video this Vervor Canadian sawmill uh, for your chin so it works really well um, I have to admit that uh, in my first cut I hit a piece of nail which blunted the chain so I ended up having to put on a cross cut chain that I had in the bag because I didn't fancy going home to resharpen the chain for an hour um, but after five planks I can really tell you that this thing is worth the money. I think it's about 60, 70 bucks on Vervor. Uh, it works really well. Uh, it's a bit slow. Um, I was putting in about 15 minutes per plank. But remember, that's 15 minutes per plank with a, a chain that's not really made for the job. 
so you could expect to see anywhere between 10 to 12 minutes maybe even 13 uh, for these kind of planks here um, but yeah yeah it's a good product I'm pretty happy with it and uh, I'll finish the video here